Welcome back to the Gomer Plays Redo of Mega Man 2. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to imitate John St. John here. And, yeah, this is the Robot Master Room. Hooray! Teleporters! Hooray! Let's go in here! Flashman! <laughs> now here, it's honestly not as easy to take him out with... with uh, the fucking uh, Crash Bombers, because he doesn't have all those platforms to jump on. Oh, hi, Metal Man. Say, if you've played Mega Man 3 before this, then you know that... Hi! I was explaining something. Then you know that using weapons against Robot Masters will do them some damage. In fact... Yeah, there you go. Half damage! Really? Okay. But yeah. That, that's self-explanatory. So what's next? I believe this one is Crash Man. Yep, I was right. Boom. <laughs> I love when that happens. Take him down in two shots. Mm, let's see. Oh, hi, Quick Man. Gee, you're pretty fast. So I better stop you for a moment. No, no, no! Yeah. Yes, I read Bob and George. How could you tell? <laughs> now there are two ways to take. There are a few ways to take care of him after using a time stopper on him. One of which is obviously the Mega Buster. He's also pretty vulnerable to the Crash Bomber and to the Atomic Fire. He's one of the few that's also outright immune to the Metal Blade. So much so that he has a blocking animation frame for it. Ow. You know, the last time I fought Bubble Man, you guys saw it. I actually didn't take damage. This time, kind of sucked. But that's okay. Because I've got wood, man. So... Actually, I'm gonna... I'm going to, uh... Switch this up a bit. Since I have plenty of metal blades... Okay. The atomic fire will come in handy when I fight the boss of this area, like the actual boss boss. So, all these people wonder, if you take on air, man, what is his weakness? Leaf shield. For some reason, it's leaves that he can just easily blow away. There we go. That wasn't so hard, now was it? Oh, bubble lead. Doesn't take much. Not for this guy. So let's do this again. Leap! And... Whoa! Hi! Yeah! Oh, hi! That was a quick one. Okay. Yeah, it's a little it's a little more hairy, but I'm actually able to take him out. Alright. Turn on the atomic fire, let's get at this guy. It's Dr. Wiley! And boom, atomic fire is just that powerful. Of course in normal mode it takes it out right, down outright. Okay. Now, if I had a good, decent amount of Crash Bomber... In fact, I might even be able to try it. I've got one Crash Bomber to rule them all. Nope. But it is... It does appear to be his weakness. Whew. Thank goodness for a turbo button. <laughs> ah! The final level. <sighs> And the only level in this game that actually is depicted properly on the map. What I like to do. I may... I, I, I'm i tempted to add in background music to the end of this. But I'm not going to do that. You just keep running, keep running, keep running. These will never hit you. <laughs> nice final trap, Wily. Even overtakes your Mega Buster shots. Okay. Final boss. 
requires the bubble beam. Bubble beam. Bubble lead. I've been playing Pokemon a lot recently, too, so, you know. Between this and Pokemon, yeah. The two are gonna intertwine. So, wee! Ow! By the way, just a little bit of case in point. Ow! I've got enough bubble lead to do this. Here's what happens if you hit it with something... Yeah. Anything other than bubble lead will, re will recharge his energy. You know, I should have used my Crash Bomber with Heat Man, because I was going to show off a similar thing. Because it also happens with Heat Man. You hit Heat Man with a Crash Bomb, it refills his goddamn energy. You know, you would think a, a boss like this wouldn't be difficult, but... You know, if you're, especially if you're a first timer, then you know it's going to be a little difficult. I know, I know, I had problems with it as a kid. Hell, you saw me screw up a few times now. Although that was probably more due to careless errors than anything else. But uh. yeah, come on, come on. Boom. Yeah, that takes care of that. It was a hologram the whole time. That's why nothing but bubble lead worked on it. Yeah. <laughs> Although I have to admit, back in the day, this probably would have been a really interesting plot twist. Huh. And boom! Eject! No! <laughs> I like to think he tried to eject and failed. <laughs> Oh. So we have... That's it. That's Mega Man 2. Redone. Again. Uh, yeah. Again, I think I've said it in, in the previous uh, Mega Man run. Um, the originals are, are up on YouTube. I think they're on my uh, secondary channel. Which I'll try and remember to link to. If not, then uh, they are always on Nerdvice as well. So you can always go and check them out. Um, in fact, it might be just be easier to go on Nerdvice and just look them up that way. Because uh, you got the search engines and everything, and, and also I'm a little lazy, don't want to put the other channel name in there. <laughs> nah, no, but seriously, go check them out on Nerdvice, and then go check out all the other people on Nerdvice too, so. So that that's, you know, it's good for me, it's good for them, it's good for you, and um, all that great stuff. So, hooray! So this is the end of Mega Man 2! Yes! And where we see Mega Man starting to take take those long walks back home and just think and ponder you know and it's something that they even kept over to the X games for the most part where X would sit there and, and just wonder you know what am I fighting for you know why must this happen <laughs> and then you get this and you get the music <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of those things it's 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 like you have the, the calm reflective music, and then you have the theme music. Or whatever upper beat or upper beater music that there might be. Um, now, of course, in in, in like, uh, I think Mega Man's 5 and 6, you don't have that so much mood whiplash. But, you know, it was, it's definitely a thing. Um, I don't think you have that mood whiplash in 7 either. But, yeah. I'm, I'm now discussing endings for games that I'm going to be eventually be doing. Oh, so... Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a thing. Um, yeah, pretty much all done. Um, all told, I, I record these all in one day, because I can get through these pretty quickly. Um, uh, so, uh, Mega Man 3 is up next. <laughs> Which was actually my first Mega Man game that I, that I remember actually playing. I had seen, like, Mega Man and Mega Man 2, and even Mega Man 3 and, like, Nintendo Power and other game magazines or what have you, but I hadn't played... The, fir the first one I remember actually playing was Mega Man 3. Uh, so that one's going to be up next. <laughs> uh, and again, if, if you want to see the original run, which I'm going to be doing differently from, you know, with this next run, of course, naturally, um, you know, go and check it out. I encourage you to go check it out and see the differences between then and between now. Uh, especially in terms of video capturing quality, and audio quality, and even gameplay quality. Uh, so, yeah. That is it. 
And thank you guys for watching. We will see you when we start up Mega Man 3. So until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. Yeah.